For more than 50 years, the Fender Stratocaster has been the guitar of choice for music legends like wild man Jimi Hendrix, slow hand Eric Clapton, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and many, many other pop idols past and present. It's the guitar's unique versatility that helped it reach its iconic stature. The legendary Fender Stratocaster, the guitar credited with creating the sound of rock and roll, celebrated its 50th anniversary during 2004. The Stratocaster story dates back to 1954, when a radio repairman named Leo Fender came up with a design for the signature model. It's interesting to note that Leo couldn't play the guitar. The design included a curvaceous body and three pickups, which players soon discovered could be used to change their sound with a flick of a switch. Fender's basic idea for the Strat was to create a guitar that fit like a shirt. The name Stratocaster was intended to evoke images of newly emerging jet aircraft technology, such as the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress and to express Fender's modernistic design philosophy. In designing the Stratocaster's body, a significant area of the back of the guitar and the area where the strumming arm rests was beveled to accommodate the player's chest and arm. The upper bouts featured two cutaways for easier access to the higher frets. The new custom contour body and synchronized tremolo bridge made the Stratocaster a revolutionary design. At Fender's guitar manufacturing plant outside Los Angeles, the making of a custom Stratocaster requires much hands-on attention. Clients can order an authentic original model Strat or even a carbon copy of a guitar used by a pop icon. The company believes the quality of today's Fender guitars is better than ever and that demand remains strong. During the mid-1960s, the company, then owned by the American broadcaster CBS, thought it would be a good idea to discontinue the Stratocaster model. It was a decision that never happened, thanks to the arrival on the music scene of Jimi Hendrix and the raw appeal of his Strat. It was Hendrix who not only saved the Stratocaster, but also burned its image into the pop culture landscape. He seemed to become one with the guitar with an amazing force. Technically, he put it on the front pickup and wired it to huge amplifiers, which really made the technology come alive. This particular Stratocaster has had an interesting history. In fact, it died and was reborn. This Fender was the guitar that Jimi Hendrix famously set on fire on stage at the 1968 Miami Pop Festival. After the concert, Hendrix gave the charred and blistered Strat to rocker Frank Zappa. The guitar, now known as the Hendrix Zappa Strat, remained in Zappa's basement until 1976, when it was restored and played on the Zappa album Zoot Allures. Zappa's son Dweezil found the guitar in the mid-1980s. It was again abandoned under the stairs of his home. It was in very poor condition, but he repaired it and decided to auction it at Cooper Owen Auction Gallery, and this iconic piece of rock memorabilia failed to reach its £400,000 sterling reserve price. The legend of the Stratocaster has created a cottage industry among collectors. A recent auction in New York brought a winning bid of nearly a million dollars for a 1950s era Strat once owned by Eric Clapton. Sought after models such as the 1964, 65 and 66 Stratocasters are selling for high prices, even if they're not associated with a particular rock star and are proving to be strong investments. Fender has indicated that the guitar that put the rock in roll has a long life ahead of it and the company plans on preserving its place in popular music history.